Welcome everybody to the A Sun Show. Um, going into week three this week, um, we got a lot of good games. Um, not as many A Sun wins as I'd hope, but um, enough. Um, we got plenty of time to make that up. So, uh, got a lot of games. From last week to go into, and a couple from this upcoming week. Um, conference weeks are so much easier. <laughs> um, anyway, let's jump into the games. We are going to go from um, first to finish to last to finish. So, first A-Sun game to finish this week was Kennesaw State taking down Moorhead State, 28-14. Um... Kennesaw State, 14 in the first, 14 in the fourth to put them away. Um, great defense by Kennesaw State. Uh, starting off 2-0 again. Um, they um, they're on a roll. They're keeping up what they did last season, at least in the regular season. Um, and Showing why he's one of the best coaches in the league. Um, he did lose the turnover battle. Um, he lost four fumbles this game. But he held the ball twice as long and he got over 140 more yards than Moorhead State. So, uh, And it was only by one. He picked him off three times. So almost even, but not quite. <laughs> um, but yeah, good game by Kennesaw. Uh, two and zero going into the conference conference uh, week. So, yeah. Next is ETSU taking down Butler. Um, Fruity getting his first win um, in as a coaching an ASUN team. Um, got beat down by Jacksonville last week, but bounced back. Twenty one in the first half, um, and didn't let them it didn't score in the second half but also didn't let them catch up so great defense by uh etsu uh turning it around a little bit from last season hopefully i think nut started 2-0 last season so uh, but i think Purdue will do a little better in conference <laughs> um yeah just uh, yet yeah, pretty much almost the exact same time of possession as the kennesaw state game uh, twice as long um, and 120 more yards so um, turned the ball over twice but and didn't force any turnovers so that is a great sign for future games but clean up the turnover problem a little bit and Fruity can cruise a little bit um, it's going to be hard it, with the A-Sun games but um, with the way We've seen him play in the past. Slight adjustment, and he should be fine. Um, whether he can contend with some of the uh, better teams like Matt and um, Chatty and them and Dusk, we'll see. But, um, yeah, good game by Fruity. Getting the first win, playing an A-Sun team. Next, we got Dixie State. Um, beating Alabama A&M in overtime, 38-31. Um, the new Alabama A&M coach, so close to that first win, um, but couldn't quite finish. Got outscored 21-10 to in the fourth quarter and couldn't convert in overtime. So, tough loss for him, um, but he'll get a hang of it if he can... If he's taken his first game like this, he should be fine. Um, he he might have a little tough with having to play some conference games next, but it'll probably be like Wally last year, two or three weeks to adjust, and then he's on a roll. Um, so yeah, Alabama A&M, like last year on a slow start, but I think it'll pick up by the end of the season. Maybe... Maybe not nine and three like last season, but I can definitely see six and six, seven and five um, if he's playing games like this in his first game. 
Uh, next game, Bethune Cookman edges out North Carolina A and T 35-32. Um, just consistent scoring by Poet um, and keeping the Bethune Cookman streak alive. Um, Bethune Cookman still scary even after changing coaches. It's crazy. Um, I think he's, m- it might be a top five team going into this next week. I don't think the polls come out quite yet as I'm recording this. Um, but, yeah, just good game. Uh, even on the turnover battle, but held the ball longer. Um, got out. Uh, the yardage difference was pretty big in favor of North Carolina, but looks like some good defense held him to a couple field goals and was able to chew out the clock when he did have the ball. So, uh, great job on Poet, uh, keeping the Bethune Cookman streak alive. Now he has to go into some conference games and we'll see how he does, but with the way he's played out of conference, Bethune Cookman's still scary. <laughs> uh, next game. Jacksonville starting off 2-0, and getting the win over <sighs> DeChesney? I don't know how to say that. Whatever. Uh, 37-31. 15 point fourth quarter um, to pull out the win. Um, Purple figured out how to convert on those close games um, and blowing out some people. Blew out Fruity last week and uh, conver- uh, didn't choke in a close game this week. Uh, uh, lost turnover battle. We've having a lot of that, but still got the win. Um, out yardage, had better time possession. So, yeah, purple two and zero. Already number twenty, probably top fifteen team this week. Uh, good to see a. Good to see a uh, good Jacksonville team. He was good last year, but couldn't get many wins. But we're gonna have a, we might have a seven, eight win, um, maybe nine win Jacksonville team this year. So it's looking good. Um, even if Poet steps back in the in conference play, we got another contender in the in the dawn. Um, <laughs> we got someone to take up those wins. Um, so. Not getting any easier this year, so that's fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, great win by Jacksonville, getting two and zero going into uh, conference play. Uh, next, Jackson State beating Jacksonville State thirty-eight uh, fourteen. Just looks like nothing was clicking for Jacksonville State. Uh, Twenty-one points in the fourth quarter to really nail in the coffin. Uh, he was only down three. Well. No, down 10 going into the fourth quarter. And then it just kind of got away from him. Um, yeah, it, tough loss. Uh, sometimes happens. Um, I'm sure Matt will bounce back next week. So, uh, whoever's got Jacksonville State next week, uh, we'll, we'll get into that later. She might be a little scared. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, um, good win for Jackson State. Um might I don't know uh, how he's gonna do overall, but um, Jacksonville State a uh, little hurt, but nothing season-ending. Just bounce back next week, get a conference win. Um, next we got a shootout, uh, but with an ace on win, Chattanooga beating Harvard 52-42. Um, he was down 42-14 at half. And then rattled off 28 in the third and another 10 in the fourth while shutting out Harvard. Um, unbelievable co- comeback by Chatty. Um, he's, he's ready for this season. Um, I will guess probably 20s uh, ranked this week, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, got looks like probably got a couple turnovers. Um and uh, out yardaged him 512 passing yards for Chatty. He got down and he just started hurling that thing. Um, so yeah, great win by Chatty. Great comeback. 
uh, shouldn't give him some momentum going into next week. Um, he should be excited. Uh, so, yeah. Good job, Chatty. Keep it up. Uh, next, we got Wofford taking down Mercer, 28-21. Um, I believe Mercer is 0-2 now. Uh, yeah, so Mercer not off to a great start. Uh, plenty of time to turn it around, though. These are just out-of-conference games. Um, but, yeah, uh, difference was Wofford got an extra touchdown in the third quarter. Everything else was even. Um, so, tough loss for Mercer, but he also has a really tough schedule. Um, so, he should get a couple wins here. Um, this is definitely a tough loss by Mercer. He got four interceptions. Still couldn't. Still couldn't quite get it. Uh, if you look at just the stats, it looks like everything should have gone Mercer's way, but. Looks like Wofford's defense came up big a couple times and Mercer just couldn't convert. Um, yeah. Um, tough loss for Mercer. Um, but I trust Rico to bounce back, get a couple wins in conference play this year. Um, but we'll see if how bad this hurts him in the in future, going starting off 0-2 and out of conference. If he can't Get those back in the next two out of conference weeks. He's gonna have a tough time making the playoffs. Uh, next, Indiana State beating Samford twenty-eight fourteen. Um, I think Samford had a big win last week. Let me make sure of that. Oh uh, yeah, they're one to know. They got they, um, they got a good win last week. Um, against. Elon, oh yeah, 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 so, um, the NIT champion, um, so, they proved they were right on the edge of that, um, but they took on number six ranked Indiana State and couldn't quite keep up, um, so, tough loss for Samford, um, Uh, picked them off a couple times. Exactly even time of possession. I don't know how that happens. 14 minutes to 14 minutes. That's pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, just a couple tough breaks it looks like. Couldn't quite keep up with uh, one of the top teams in the league. So, um, But no shame in that. Um, top 10 team. Sometimes you just aren't quite ready for it. But... Uh, he should bounce back. Still a good coach. Um, and plenty of time to make up for it. Not a, not anything season ending. Only week two. <laughs> um, and one and one in the first two weeks ain't bad. Just, uh, bounce back next week. Uh, next, uh, we got Valparaiso beating Stetson 30-21. to uh, Stetson up at the half, but it just fell apart after that, uh, giving up 16 points in the second half to, and not scoring any. Um, yeah, just Stetson's now 0-2. Um, uh, same thing with Mercer. Great coach. I expect them to bounce back um, at some point this season. I don't know how soon it's going to be. Um could be this upcoming week, could be week six, could, I don't know. Um, they could be one and five and then uh, rat rattle off six in a row and be on the edge of that playoff spot. Um, but they probably need to turn it around soon if they want to ensure their spot in the playoffs. Um, A-Sun ain't doing as good as last year. Um, so we're going to have to work a little harder to get us playoff spots uh, next game we got CS uh, I think that's Charleston Southern beating Campbell 31-10 um, another game didn't look doesn't look like anything really went his way um, down 21-10 at half and then couldn't get anything going in the second half and it just got away from him a little bit in the fourth quarter um, so Campbell's another team, 0-2. Um, so, tough loss. Needs to... He's going to have to turn it around a little bit. 
needs those wins back in week five and week eight um, to make sure he doesn't get punished too much by the committee. Um, let's see. Yeah, lost turnover battle, lost time possession. Only lost the yards by one yard, but eh. so looks like Charleston Southern defense came up big a couple times, and Campbell just couldn't convert. Um, sometimes that happens, but Campbell uh, Campbell's in the dawn, um, so it's gonna be a tough tough ride from here on out. But I'm sure he'll get a couple wins, um, and. We'll see how high, we'll see how good he can do. See, maybe, maybe he can play spoiler to a couple teams, um, or I can see him get enough wins to sneak back into the playoffs. Um, but it's probably gonna take those remaining two out of conference games to do it. Do it. Um, next game is my game. We got another overtime game. Um, I beat Ham Hampton 37-30. <laughs> A little bit of a comeback here. Um, I got, uh, I was down at half, and I got 14 in the fourth quarter to send it to overtime. Um, and Hampton actually won the toss and gave me ball first, and I uh, scored and then was able to stop them. Um, so, yeah, feeling good. One and one. Uh, didn't have a good opening week, but um, bounced back and uh, keeping my. Uh, keep myself from falling too far behind. Um, I need to be ready for conference weeks uh, for the conference weeks coming up. Um, so yeah, uh, I needed this win. I got it, and I'm ready for next week. Next game: Eastern Illinois taking down North Alabama, 23-14. Um, North Alabama got a touchdown in the first, a touchdown in the fourth, and nothing in the middle. <laughs> All Eastern, Eastern Illinois had some pretty consistent scoring, so looks like just nothing much went his way. Got a couple lucky breaks in the first and fourth, but other than that, there wasn't much there. Um, so good on Eastern Illinois. Um, good defense, uh, but I'm sure Wally's looking to bounce back, uh, get back on the winning side and um yeah just he ain't going he ain't going down anytime soon <laughs> once he figured out the game last season he was a tough out um and I think was pretty close to stealing the division from ampersand um but so yeah um he's gonna be he's gonna be one of the top dogs in the dusks this season um, just tough early loss and out of conference and our final game is Alabama State beating Furman 18-14 uh, Alabama State got 18 points in the first quarter Furman got 14 in the second quarter and they almost made it to halftime didn't quite get there uh, less than a minute left uh, so, yeah, uh, good win by Turk, uh, getting himself back to 500. Um, Alabama State hoping hoping to do a little better and out and in conference this season. Um, I think got one win last season, so um, yeah, it wasn't great, <laughs> uh, but I think Turk can do better. Um, he, yeah, he just, uh, good game, uh, got, got in there, got out, um, sadly, he didn't get to finish, it looked like it could have been a good game, um, but yeah, good, good win by Turk, um, and hopefully he can get a conference win this week, we'll see. Uh, ba -ba. Okay, I think we're going into next week's games now, or this upcoming week, tomorrow, whatever, however you want to say it. Um, our first game, 
0-2 Alabama A&M versus 0-2 Mercer. Two teams definitely looking for their first wins. Um, pretty pretty much need it. Um, I mean, they won't be out or anything, but it's just a confidence booster. Get that win um, and get on a little bit of a roll. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to take Mercer here. Mercer's a better coach. Um, and is looking for that win. Uh, next, 2-0 and Jacksonville heads to 1-1 and Alabama State. Um, I definitely got purple here. Um, Jacksonville on a roll. Uh, and looking to start off, uh, start off in conference with a win. Um, and looking to contend with Bethune-Cookman and Kennesaw State this season. Speaking of, next game is Bethune-Cookman 2-0 and against Samford 1-1. Uh, this is going to be a tough one, and I have no clue who to pick. Uh, Poet in his first A-Sun game, um, A-Sun conference game, and Samford uh, looking to looking to do a little better in conference than he did last season. Um, I think he did f- it was like 500 or something like that, but if you want to contend for the title, you got to do a little better than that. And Getting a win against Bethune-Cookman is a good start. Um if I had to pick, I think I'm going to go Samford, but it's going to be a close game. I could see it being um, under 7, maybe under 3 points uh, difference. So uh, that should be a fun one to keep an eye out on. Uh, next is uh, East Tennessee State versus Campbell. Uh, Fruity in his first, well, I guess... I, mm, I don't know if the Jacksonville game counts as an in-conference game. Like, if it counts on their record. I don't think it does. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Fruity. Um, uh, Campbell looking for his first win. Fruity looking to keep it going a little bit. Um, they got their first win last week. Um, I think I'm going to go Campbell. I don't think Campbell's going to fall to 0-3. Um, but it's going to be a tough one. Uh, next is North Alabama at Florida A&M. Um, I'm a little scared of Wally. Um, but it, yeah, so it's going to be a tough one. Um, I'm obviously picking myself. Um, I think I can, I think I can do it, but it's going to be a tough game. Um, but. Pretty much all of these games are going to be tough games in the A Sun. It's not going to get much easier, <laughs> if at all. Um, next, Jacksonville State heads to Stetson. Um, yeah, it's this is going to be another close one. Um, I don't know who to pick. I think I'm going to take Stetson. Uh, they kind of need to win more. But it's one of those that can go either way. Um, I'm going to root for Stetson here, I guess. Ah, No, I think I'd root for Jacksonville State because... One less person to don, please. <laughs> That's contending. Um, but, yeah, I think if I had to pick, I'd go Stetson. But I'm rooting for Jacksonville State. And finally, I think... I know I voted for game of the, this beer game of the week. I don't know if it's been announced yet, um, but Kennesaw State at Chattanooga, both two and O teams. This should be a big one. Um, Chatty, we're gonna see if Chatty can keep up with uh, one of the top teams um, over the past two seasons. I think I think Kennesaw State was did pretty good a couple seasons ago, and definitely did really good last season. Um, so yeah. This will be a test for Kennesaw State. Um, see if they can keep it going. Uh, they're going to be top five, maybe top three going into this week. Um, but it's going to be an even bigger test for Chatty. Uh, see if he's ready for. He didn't do great in out of con- I mean, in conference last season, um, and he has a tough opponent to start out with. Um, we're going to see if he can keep up with one of the top, with maybe the top team, top coach in the A Sun. Um, so, yeah, um, 
I know I voted for game of the this be game of the week. Um, we'll see if it gets picked. Picked. I hope it does. <laughs> um. Uh, but yeah, that's our that's our slate of games. Um, let's see. I think that's all. Oh, uh, before I wrap up, a little announcement. I finally did my job. Eh, not really. Um, we should have a guest on next week. Um, they kind of asked to be on, so I didn't actually do my job. Still haven't done that yet. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll give you guys a hint on who it is. Um, two different. Let's see. I give you two letters, H and P. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, but I think that's all I got for you guys. Um, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Um, for um, it'll be a little bit shorter because um, I don't got I only got fourteen games total to go over, not twenty one. <laughs> anyway. See you guys. Bye.